So let's have a look at this slide, which gives you a bit more detail about what preferred learning styles relate to. You're probably sitting at home thinking, I wonder what learning style I am. This is so exciting. I can't wait for Trevor to tell me. Let me take you out of your misery. The first learning style that I'll touch on is pragmatist. These are typically people who like to seek and try out new ideas. They are incredibly practical. These are the people that when I started the session, they were like, how is this going to add value to me now? Unless you can demonstrate value to these people up front, you've lost them. They're very down to earth, enjoy problem solving, but get bored with long discussions. That is typically your pragmatist. And a lot of the new generation, the, the, the millennial generation and generation X's are the type of people that fit into this bracket. The second group are the activists. I'll raise my hand for that one. These are the here and now people, the people that are gregarious. They love going out, they love socializing, a lot of energy. They constantly seek challenges and the immediate experience. They're incredibly open-minded and get incredibly frustrated and bored with implementation. They'll start new ideas, but possibly lose interest along the way. The third group of individuals are the reflectors. These are individuals that like to stand back. They like to first gather data before being rushed into a decision. They're the type of people who like to ponder and analyze, delay and research conclusions. They're the type of people sitting back now thinking, I wonder how I could apply this in a work environment. They are the type of people that love listening before speaking and are incredibly thoughtful. The fourth group of individuals are theorists. These are the type of people who love logical steps. They're the type of people who love to assimilate information into coherent theories. They love structure and rationally being objective. They totally reject subjectivity and fl uh, flippancy. And what they really like to do is look at a set of information and objectively apply thought to it. Very detailed individuals. Now, why am I telling you this? First and foremost, it's critical that you understand how you best uh, interact with people. And the key to that is what's your preferred learning style. The second is, how does your preferred learning style change or need to adapt when you're dealing with people of opposites? For example, myself being an activist, if I was delegated to, I would love someone to come in to me and say, Trevor, this is the objective. This is what I want you to do. Go and do it. If you have any questions, ask me. So if that's my preferred style and I'm delegating to a reflector, if I go to that reflector and say, here's the task. This is what I want you to do. Any questions, come and ask me. What do you think that reflector is actually going to do? Well, firstly, they're probably going to be so nervous at me screaming and shouting, they wouldn't have heard half of the instructions. Secondly, they're going to sit down, take the brief and say, goodness gracious, what do I need to do? They'll probably spend a good hour to an hour and a half first figuring out what they're meaning to do and would very rarely have the guts to come and actually ask me for advice. Secondly, you could have someone like a pragmatist dealing with a theorist. A theorist manager goes to a pragmatist and says, this is what I want you to do. This is the steps. This is how I would have done it. These are pitfalls. These are things you need to watch out for. This is how I would recommend you go about it. By the third sentence, the pragmatist is already totally disengaged. All the pragmatist wants to know is, what am I trying to achieve and why am I doing this? These are very important differences to understand. And what we're going to be doing is as we're heading to the case study, we're going to look in more detail at the additional information provided about how these learning styles interact with each other. What I'd like to end off with is just the thought of the type of individual in organizations today. As I mentioned, more and more individuals are tending to be more pragmatic. These are the generation X's or the millennials. And a typical uh, function of them is they always ask why. Your typical knowledge workers are starting more and more to be made up of this group of individuals in an organization. So let's have a look at what these knowledge workers, some of the attributes are considering the learning styles. Firstly, they like autonomy. Typical pragmatists like to be given the task and said go and do it. Secondly, 
they like to be shown commitment to what matters to them. By understanding them, understanding how they learn, you'll be buying huge credibility. Thirdly, they often have to have very good reasons before they'll do something. It's not like the uh, baby boomer generation where because someone is in authority, they'll just listen to you. They don't want to be directed. They want to have the opportunity to ask why. And finally, they want to be able to have a self-directed learning environment. And organizations need to understand the four stages of planning, experiencing, reflecting, and concluding in order to create these self-directed learning environments for today's knowledge worker. So let's take a moment to summarize our key learning points from the session. Firstly, learning is absolutely critical for organizations and is a key competitive advantage going forward. Secondly, Individuals learn in different ways, but in order for an individual to fully learn, they have to go through the learning cycle, which includes planning, experiencing, reflecting, and concluding. Finally, each of us has a preferred learning style, which impacts on the way that we uh, gather, process, and apply information, but also impacts on the way that we manage people who may have differing learning styles. Let's take a look now at how we can practically apply this in our case study. Thank you so much.